Good day, ladies and gents. Let's talk some news. BSG tweeted out about an estimated plan of changes, fixes, and improvements. And the things they're gonna focus on, uh, there, there's a small list. We're gonna go through all of those points and I'll, sh I'll share my thoughts. So, fixing issues that occur with binaural sound on. There are plenty of problems with binaural sound. The most important one is the memory leak. Right now, if you're using binaural audio, there is a high chance that your memory will be leaking away and you'll be getting very bad frames, your game is gonna be stuttering and you will have to restart your game like, I don't know, maybe once every rate, maybe maybe once every two rates and it's still not, it's, it's still not guaranteed that it's gonna fix the problem. So hopefully that's gonna be the first thing they address. I'm really excited to try the binaural audio. I haven't played with, bin with binaural audio this wipe for that exact reason. Playing with binaural audio on Streets of Tarkov is simply impossible. I've seen the game was eating like 25 gigabytes of RAM on the first raid in the game. Adjustments to sound positioning, footstep noise and incorrect headset settings. That goes again for the sound. I guess uh, BSG can have uh, more flexibility with the new Oculus audio. As far as I know, the Steam Audio was limiting them and the last wipe the Steam Audio was at its ceiling, BSG could not improve it any further. And with Oculus they have more room, more tools to work with. So overall, maybe in a half a year, Oculus Audio should be better than the Steam Audio. And this is what they're talking about, they're gonna keep adjusting positioning, noise, headset settings. I'm not really sure what they mean by incorrect headset setting. I think they probably mean the in-game headset. Some of their parameters were wrong, so you could hear people too far away or you weren't able to hear them. So that's getting changed. Tweaking additional aspects of Oculus Audio on all locations. Uh, that's a good thing. Hopefully we will be able to hear people uh, running around because I had some issues when I was playing on Reserve yesterday. By the way, check me out on Twitch or stream daily if you still haven't. And there was a guy running literally right next to me, like 30 centimeters away. He was running, my gun was folding because I was too close to the guy and there were no footsteps. And I was like, yo, hello, sound? So I hope things like this are getting addressed and it's gonna get fixed. Fix issues when using the gym for some players. I cannot use gym. Every single time I go to gym, I finish the workout, I go back to my stash, do something, I instantly get 228 error and the game rolls back to the pre-gym time, if it makes sense. So if I go to gym, um, I go back to my stash, I delete every single thing in my stash, a few minutes later I'm gonna get 2 to 8 air and it's gonna roll back. I'll get all of my items back and it's like I've never been to the gym. Yeah. Geometry and lighting fixes for Streets of Tarkov. I haven't seen too many lighting issues on Streets of Tarkov, but geometry definitely needs some improvement. There are some places on Streets of Tarkov where items render 10 centimeters away from you. And I'm talking about huge items, something like a huge piece of cloth on the balcony uh, through which you're not supposed to see. And if you move back like 10 centimeters, you can't see it and you can snipe everybody on the street. So things like this are getting fixed and hopefully it's going to look better. And hopefully we're also going to be getting better frames. That's what I'm really hopeful for. New player group system. That's what Nikita teased on the podcast. I assume you will be able to join your friends without actually selecting the map. Like you, you chilling in your stash, you getting your kit. I don't know. And within that stash, you will be able to join your friends group. And whenever all of you are ready, you just go in the lobby and you will be grouped automatically or something like this. DLSS update. Can't say too much. I'm not really using DLSS. Um, I don't know if BSG is moving from DLSS uh, 2.0 to a 3.0, but that might be the case. Don't know. Fixing issues when interacting with certain weapons and several other changes and fixes. Can't really comment on that too much. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Whatever is good. If they fix something, that's definitely good for the game. So let's go back to the original post as they said the upcoming hot fixes. As far as I know, those fixes are going to happen with the first quarter of 2023. Some of the fixes are going to happen in uh, January, aka this month, but not all of them. So whenever you see the next fix and you see like only one or two hot fixes out of the list, don't be disappointed. That's the plan. That's how they're going to do it. These fixes are going to take a while. So please prepare. And the main point of this video is I think this is a really great change from the last year, BSG is actually talking to community in advance about the changes and hotfixes. They haven't really done that before and I hope they keep doing this, letting us know in advance what they're about to change, what they're about to do, what they're working on. This is really great communication and I really hope they stick to it. 
because the last year it was very difficult to receive any feedback from BSG. They would just roll the patch out and it's like, off you go, off you go, test it. And right now we're supposed to know things in advance. Yeah, um, I'm very happy with this. I also need to mention that I got some messages and emails about scams on my channel. Send a direct message on Telegram, blah, 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 I want the giveaway. All of this is a scam. I'm not doing any giveaways, so don't click any links, don't share any info. If you see a comment like this, you can either like just, just scroll through or report it if you want to. Don't get scammed, all right? Do not get scammed. And this is more or less it. Those are all the news for today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you learned something new. I hope I made your day better. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.